Hi again, Red Hat developers. We're at day two of Summit 2017 in the Dev Zone. Today we have Rob Harvey, and he's going to talk to us about UX convergence. Take it away, Rob. Hi, thank you everybody. I'm uh, Rob Harvey. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for uh, Intando. Uh, Intando is the uh, lightest weight open source digital experience platform uh, on the market. Uh, we're working uh, with, uh, with Red Hat right now. We've just signed a collaboration agreement around uh, the future of a, a low, lightweight, low code, uh, modern application development suite. Uh, what I'm here to, uh, to talk to you about today is UX convergence. It's something we see a lot of uh, in the industry. Uh, we, uh, this is solving a big problem. Uh, we, we essentially see a, a context uh, or, or state of web disruption. Uh, in, this, in this new world here, we see a proliferation of applications, right? Uh, many, many apps, uh, new devices that are coming up, IoT devices, uh, contents that are spread across the business. And these businesses are functioning in silos. Uh, these silos really, uh, they don't talk. They're not really incentivized to talk together. And so this, this continues to compound the problem uh, of this uh, proliferation and of the apps uh, that sit within. We see evolving user engagement. Um, devices like mobile phones. Uh, consumers are, are, are used to these very rich user experiences. Uh, and it, they, they're accustomed to this uh, every day. And so they're, they're looking for the enterprises to provide more. Uh, so their, their uh, customer engagement has evolved, right? Um, Frameworks. Frameworks, uh, Java's been Java for many years, and what we're seeing in the market is uh, now the uh, adoption of uh, new front-end technologies, Angular, Material. Uh, these are moving faster than anything, uh, the, the rate of lightning speeds here, uh, whereas something like Java has been Java for, for a very long time. Uh, so this is creating something uh, that we call uh, the UX Jam. Uh, it's uh, essentially a breakdown in an organization where uh, you're experiencing, uh, the customer experience is starting to deteriorate. Uh, user experience is, uh, is going south, not north. So uh, what we see is uh, UX divergence. Um, UX divergence, uh, very simply, is where somebody experiences the same type of uh, functionality in different applications, the same feature in different applications in different ways. Uh, so we can look at something like notifications. Uh, it's a great example, right? Calendar services, task management. In this case, uh, we're showing uh, six different applications, and uh, many of these call, call the notifica notifications. It may be alerts. There may be uh, events that are occurring. Uh, but the users are experiencing these uh, notifications in different applications in different ways, OK? Uh, the answer to this is uh, what we call UX convergence. Uh, it's a harmonization of user experience across applications, across business silos, uh, and even across new devices like IoT. Uh, so as we look at uh, UX convergence, uh, we almost see this as the, the, the microservices of user experience, right? We want to build a common set of services across the omni-channel. Uh, in that experience, uh, in that example of notifications, uh, a user, if, if you were to base your platform on a UX convergence model, uh, users can experience a notification in a, in a, in a common way, in one way. And uh, this is a great way to, uh, to demonstrate a holistic type of user experience uh, across that, that application channel. Uh, UX is broken down into three pillars. We see three pillars uh, of user uh, experience, or really user convergence. Uh, it's patterns, orchestration, and abstraction. Uh, patterns, they're the DNA. They're the styles that sit within the company. They're the brand guidelines. Uh, these are the CSS styles, the components, the features uh, that make their way into the uh, applications, the building blocks that you use to, uh, to build an app. Uh, the problem is that patterns uh, don't really define everything. Uh, Red Hat has a, a pattern fly uh, group here, and they're focused very much on, on the patterns. Uh, but patterns don't define the experience. Uh, the, the experience comes from uh, an orchestration of those patterns. It comes from building common processes that correlate to a user experience. So uh, with orchestration, we see that happening within the, uh, the JBoss BPM suite. Uh, abstraction. Uh, abstraction is one of the major pillars. Uh, if you think about uh, uh, building a, an orchestrated pattern 
we now have the ability to, 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 to follow a use case. We have the ability to, uh, let's say, create a new calendar appointment or uh, register for uh, a service, register for a coupon. Uh, this uh, now has to be exposed in a common way. Uh, and this is the abstraction layer that we wrap around uh, UX convergence, around user experience, in order to make it consumable uh, in a standard way. Uh, we are looking today at an integration with Red Hat Fuse. So uh, as we start to grow UX convergence, we're going to see more and more develop in these, uh, in these areas. Uh, as an example, with calendar, uh, everybody's got calendar. I've got uh, one calendar in my pocket. It's on my phone, right? Uh, I've got 20 apps that connect to this calendar. Now with UX convergence, uh, what we're looking for is a common way to interact with calendar. Uh, I don't want 20 calendars, I want one. Uh, so by following the, uh, the pillars, uh, looking at uh, essentially patterns, we define what that look and feel is for the calendar itself. Uh, what are my color schemes? What are my, my objects or my elements that are going to make up this specific experience? Uh, we look at the uh, orchestration. When I go to create a new uh, appointment, what is that process going to entail? Uh, and when finally, I need to expose this out to Gmail as a service or my Facebook account as a service. All the things that interact with calendar, all the things that can fill my calendar, uh, I need to create that abstraction layer. These products need to know how to integrate in a standard way through standard APIs. Um, so this uh, is the concept of UX convergence. Now it's not just technology. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, as you look at deploying something like this across an organization, uh, we're looking at building new governance models, new delivery methodologies to successfully adopt this technology. Uh, it requires UX, uh, USX sponsorship at the, most, at the highest levels of the organization. Uh, new steering committees to be developed, um, standards bodies, uh, everything from policies to culture, uh, best practices need to feed this. So it, it is becoming uh, something that uh, the industry in its, in its whole needs to start looking at. We look at modern application development, which is a it's a, a key platform that, uh, that Red Hat has launched. Um, modern application development uh, is needing, they're really desperately needing something around UX convergence. So what's next for UX convergence? Well, we, um, we see the need to disseminate, distribute, and control these standards within the organization. Uh, so what we, we intend to see, and this is really uh, possible now with uh, DevOps and CIDC, um, we see the ability to distribute these standards within the organization, bridge the silos that are, exist within uh, really any en enterprise company. Uh, federation becomes something that's quite key and uh, something that you need to focus on. I don't want uh, one calendar uh, in each of my apps. Uh, I want one calendar service that shares my, uh, my appointments across multiple calendars, multiple tools, multiple services, multiple applications. So the integration of, uh, of the DevOps models, the uh, automated acceptance testing, uh, these are the developing standards around uh, UX convergence. Uh, Intando is a platform that uh, essentially is scaling up to support this challenge. Uh, we're trying not to uh, focus on attacking these uh, silos and trying to get them to converge on a standard set uh, of experiences, but really adopt these into the silos uh, with minimal amounts of um, uh, of complication. So we're looking at a true autonomy within these silos uh, while maintaining some level of control at the organization level. So uh, finally, uh, if you're interested in learning more, we'd uh, love for you to stop by the modern application uh, dev area. Uh, we're over in the JBPM booth, uh, the JBoss BPM booth. Uh, come by, talk to us. We've got a demo. We'd love to show you uh, a little bit about what we're doing in uh, the world of UX convergence. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for your time.